Andrew Mack, let's see what he was calling best and worst is the best worst Superman four. Now, Superman, uh, yeah, Superman three had a lot of little problems that made it wor- made it horrible, at least until uh the um awesome scene where uh Richard Pryor did his uh you know his Patton impression and uh basically. Uh, gave Superman that kryptonite and stuff, and uh, that caused him to you know have issues with his you know, his uh, dark side, and he had to you know deal with all that. That was that was super cool. Then of course after he def- he was basically you know def- had to fight his dark side in the junkyard, and was uh, looked like he was basically crucified, and then rose from the dead <laughs> and defeated his dark side. You know, and then he's like, you know, pull, you know, does the thing where it's the music swells and he pull, you know, opens up his shirt to show off the Superman logo. Yeah, I know it was awesome. Superman, the logo is so cool. It's so cool. That was awesome, and that was basically the the end of that. You know, of the awesome part of Superman three. Then it went back to being stupid again. You know, and he had to deal with these people that could not harm him at all because he just dealt with. You know, you saw him deal with the worst thing he had to deal with his own dark side. It was so great. It was so great. But that was like the one. It was, it was Superman three had so many problems. You know, not using the villain like they should have and things like that. But Superman four only has two problems that made it bad, in my opinion. In my opinion, number one. This nuclear stuff, okay. The main issue with Superman Four, in, in my opinion, and a few other people's opinion, including the Nostalgia Critic and Linkara, is that he, the nuclear stuff was mishandled. Now, you know, I, I saw their uh, their their crossover review, and it was amazing. And but yeah, it is true. I believe that too. Here's how it goes. Basically, you know, it starts off pretty good. You have people, you have kids in a classroom watching a news report about how peace talks between the you know, America and other countries are breaking down. So there may be war, and there may include nuclear war, you know, things like that. So it's like, you know, everybody's, of course, is scared. And it's like, uh, kids are, you know, the teacher's like, what, what should we do about the situation? And then some kids are like, you know, I don't know, or, you know, you know, duck and cover, or something like that. But then the one guy's like, I know what we can do. We can get Superman to help. You know, he'll help. And then you see, like, that kid, a few others, hang out with Superman, going into this UN conference. And it's like, okay, this is cool. This is fine. And then he says, Superman says, basically, he doesn't, you know, Superman being Superman is like, you know, I don't want to see stuff like this happen. But then he says, I will, st- you know, destroy all nuclear weapons, <clears throat> you know, and that's the issue. <clears throat> um, you can't do that, <clears throat> you know, that's bad. That's really bad because basically it's like, yeah, Lee Cara and, and Sandra Critic went on to say, you know, have a little game show thing where it's like, yeah, what if you're a country that is surrounded by enemies uh, like Israel or something, and you, uh, you have the only thing keeping them at bay is your nuclear arsenal? And the Superman says, I'm going to destroy all nuclear weapons in the world, including yours. What do you do? And I'm like, like, yeah, I'm like it's so bad. You know, it's like, so it's basically some crazy stuff. Uh, so yeah, that was not what he should have said. Instead, he should have said, um, if anyone fires a nuclear weapon, I will destroy it <clears throat> you know you can do that basically superman is all about you know saving people's lives that's his deal <clears throat> okay he's all about saving people's lives he's all about that so when you know see who care he doesn't care you know to me you know if in my opinion he would not care what country they're from they're human beings they could die <clears throat> you know and also of course they're they're, they're innocent human beings too not only, nuclear war arms of course don't just target military targets they, they, they'll hit everything and within a huge radius <clears throat> you know whole cities have been destroyed by these things so it's like yeah he will stop that you know so that he should have said that okay you know and apparently you know then of course you know you have the other issue with this thing uh that sun guy nuclear man totally should have been bizarre you know i don't know you know this might be my opinion more than the nuclear thing but this is definitely something i think it should he should have been bizarro you know you fought that's the issue superman 3 he fought a guy who uh, basically that is dark side okay he fought his dark side and defeated it in superman 4 you have a dark so basically what's another kind of dark side superman as a super monster basically you know something that is as strong as superman you know, but no, with less restraint, and that was there was stuff in there that was just like that. You know, there was a part where he's like, like you know, where, where um, uh, nuclear man was like, "Where's the woman?" You know, talk about Lois. And he's like, "Oh, away from safe from here. You know, you'll never find her." You know, he's like, "Oh, you know, you will give her to me, you know, or you know, I will have." You know, it's like, "Oh, you will give her to me." Like, you have to you know fight me first. You know, he was like, "Oh, fine." first I will have fun you know and he starts destroying stuff and I'm like yeah, Superman has to fix it this could have worked just fine if Bizarro and then of course there's another issue with that he throws yellow sun energy at Superman that's where Superman gets his powers 
Why would you have a character throw yellow sun energy at Superman, <clears throat> you know, when that's where he gets his powers, okay? Second, you know, another thing is that, you know, of course, yeah, if he gets hit in the face, Superman gets hit in the face, that's light in your face, of course. So you would like, ah, my, my eyes, you know, but still, you get that's where he gets his powers from, you know. And my, I made a comic about this, you know, nuclear, you know, they, you know, I made it so it's like Lex Corp made Nuclear Man, just kind of like in the com like in the actual movie, you know, they made him, you know, in far better ways, you ask me, but they made him. And then they had him go against Superman. So you know, that's, you know, they thought like, this guy with super awesome solar power, solar powers was able to defeat Superman. He like shoots a huge, you know, Kamehameha wave at Superman. You know, basically like like Goku did in the the death battle. And uh, Superman just walks right through that and knocks the guy over. <laughs> you know, you know, and you know, the guy is like like basically a baby. So he's just like you know gets hit by that. And he's like oh, and runs off. And I'm like. Yeah, that's what would happen. <laughs> that's what would happen. Or then, you know, like Bizarro. Bizarro does not have used solar energy. He uses the same stuff. He, he basically is as hard as steel and strong as Superman. So basically, it would be a even fight, basically. Or even worse, because he doesn't know. Like, Bizarro has less restraint than Superman. So basically, it would be like, ah, he just Hulk smash, basically. You know, so it would be worse for Superman to fight Bizarro than it would be to fight this guy. So, and then, of course, he throws him into a nuclear power plant. <laughs> and they get more power. And it's like, yay, I get more power. This is awesome. I'm like, yeah. Uh, it's only a matter of time till he gets till he breaks out of there, <laughs> you know. Till he breaks out of there, and is, you, you have to deal with him again. Come on, man. Come on, guys. It was really it was not that was not that good. No, I didn't like that part. And of course, his creation, Nuclear Man's creation, was annoying because basically what happened was with this guy, Lex, you know, Superman said, "Make good on his promise to destroy nuclear weapons." So he th throws a bunch of them into the sun. But Lex Corp attaches a hair of Superman's with some other crazy stuff, throws it into, you know, uh, attaches one, a missile, you know, to one of the missiles. Uh, so he throws it into the sun. That somehow makes nuclear man. Okay. And that may be possible if you think, you know, fantasy comic logic. But also, he gets clothes. I hate when characters just come out with clothes. Okay. You know, I've, did, I've done it myself. I have to work on that. But still, mm, characters just, you are know, just born and with clothes on. It's weird because basically, you know, are, are they attached to them? Mm, you know, is, is it like in their skin? You know, it's just weird. And then, of course, it's to me, it's, it reminds me of Powerful Girl Z when uh, they get when the, the new Powerful Girl. You know, th thankfully, unlike the new Powerful Girls, you know, the cartoon show that's out now, this was like a continuation of that powerful story. The uh, Professor Utonium and uh, I think his son, you know, are hanging out working on different things and all in an anime, in an anime, and then they make turn Chemical X into Chemical Z, and then they shoot, then you know, all that stuff somehow gets shot all over the city. And some of the, Z, the the chemical Z stuff hits these three girls that are just hanging out, you know. And I'm like, okay, you know, that that's fine to get powers. But then it's like, okay, now we have powers. Let's transform. I'm like, what? You know, they trans they get clothes somehow. Oh no, 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 when they get hit by this stuff, they get new clothes. To me, that makes no sense. This stuff causes explosions. In fact, Buttercup's the, the new Buttercup girl. She actually pushed a kid out of the way ugh, so he wouldn't get hit by this, <laughs> and he gets hit, and so she gets hit. So I'm like, and it causes an explosion. How did she get clothes from that? <clears throat> if she wouldn't, the professor would have to make clothes for them and weapons too. Weapons, weapons. <laughs> That's impossible, <laughs> you know. So I'm sorry. I hate when they do that because it makes no sense. You know, Piccolo when he you know poofed clothes onto Gohan, young Gohan, to make it look like Goku for the young Goku for a little bit. That was better because at least it's like it's magical or something, you know. But it's magical, and he did it. He, you know, someone, someone with that power hit someone else with that. That's different than when it's like some random something that gives you power and gives you clothes to it. It's just weird. I don't like that. I'm not like that at all. If you had to have Nuclear Man though, then make it so he's like basically. You know, I would have loved a repentance for this guy because basically, been like, oh, you know, he's like, oh, like, he gets like defeated, you know, and he's like, no, please, like, oh, like, uh. you know, it's like, uh, the Superman has him, you know, on this on the ropes, and he's like, a Superman's like, you know, I'm sorry, I have to do this. That's so what it is. Like, no, please, don't put me in that dark place. You know, send me back to the sun. Like, let me go back to the sun. And I was like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. He's like, you, you want to go to the sun? Like, yes. Well, Lex Luthor said, I, well, you wouldn't let me, so I had to beat you first. And I was like, uh, Oh my gosh! You know, you know, he lied to you, man. <laughs> if that's all you wanted to do is hang out and hang out with the sun, protect you know, hang out with the sun, and you can go on ahead, man. <laughs> he was like, a, but first, you know, somebody or something like that. You can go on ahead, but 
you know, wait a minute. I was like, oh, really? Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, you know, but wait, before you do, I have something. I need to do something. We need to get back at Lex's Lex room. I will kill him. Like, no, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. <laughs> He's like, you know, and then you like, you know, carry Superman. You just, you just have this guy carry Superman looking like he's dead, <laughs> you know, or on his last leg, <laughs> you know. To Glax, it's like I have killed, like I have finished, you know, defeated him. Oh my God! Like yes, thank you. So, you know, nuclear man, or should I say, son of the sun? <laughs> you have, you know, done well. You know, and then all of a sudden, he's like Superman gets up. He's like, ah, not not so fast. Loser, <laughs> like what? What is this? I was like, oh, I was like, oh, you. He's like you thought. You know, you know. I was like, oh. no, you told him you would. You know, I was trying to stop him from going to the sun or something. And I'm like, yeah. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, no, well, no, of course not. I guess you did. Stop lying or something like that. And he was like, oh. it's like, okay, I did. Like, like, no, what are you going to do? You know, nothing that can challenge you. No, no I'm going to destroy you. I was like, ah, Superman. You know, like, oh, I was like, or something like that. I'd be like, oh, like, oh. Well, an effort to destroy you. I was hoping it would work, but uh, you know, it's too dim. He's too smart for it, huh? I'll have to work on that. Make something that's somebody that's more of a weapon only less of until less tells you more of a weapon next time or something like that yeah whatever take him away you know tell you they think it's take him to jail or whatever and just like then then nuclear man could go fly off hang out with the sun you know say goodbye his goodbyes to superman say he's sorry for what he did maybe help repair things then he could fly off and hang out and guard the sun <clears throat> because he's loves the sun so what the heck <clears throat> that would have been awesome he could be called son of the sun awesome like that so cool you know but, you know if they, if they had to have him that would be an interesting story but you know so it is weird, but you know, to me, it should have been Bizarro. Okay, uh, yeah, it's just, and then of course the nuclear stuff. They, they peace talks resume or something, and you don't have to worry about nuclear war. So it's all good. I'm like, eh. at this point, to me, that su su the Superman series was running out of steam. This, this Superman series was running out of steam because they had some cool stuff going on in the th in, in three. At least, even though there was all kinds of wasted potential. You know, with not using the floaty guy as the main bad guy and things like that, and not having Brainiac, you know, come on, and things like that. But here, it's just, you know, paint by numbers, weirdness, silly stuff, and just, yeah, you know, getting things so wrong. To me, it is the worst of all the Superman movies. You know, maybe except for Batman vs Superman. Well, I'll have to see that movie first before I can actually pass judgment on it. But yeah, so far this is the worst of all the Superman movies. The best, the best thing about it is that there was potential. There was some bizarre-like things about you know Nuclear Man in here because, of course, he's Nuclear Man. You know, he's basically a super-powered character. Who, creature, a character who you know causes damage like Superman would cause if he was evil. So you know, yeah, I'll stop him. Superman has to stop him, and it's super tough because he's just as powerful as him. That was cool. Mm -mm. That was the best of it of the whole thing. And of course, Superman being like, "Yeah, I'm trying to say protect the world." You know, and if you you know protect the world, you know st save people's lives. That was cool. You know, so I'll stop nuclear arms from you know being used or whatever. That was cool too. But he should have definitely been more about you know if you if anybody launches anything, I'm going to stop it <clears throat> type of stuff. Not I will take away all your weapons. Your the only things stopping you from being overrun. I'll take those away. No, it shouldn't have been like that. But yeah, so that was the best was that when when he was doing cool stuff. The worst is of course when it's just like it's not Bizarro and he's saying I'm gonna take away your stuff, well, you know, so you, you you won't have any defense against your enemies. It, it was really stupid, and the fact that it just it just felt just you know that was this was like the ending. This was the you know end of an era. The you know running on fumes and you know this this is about it. You know rehashing all the stuff, you know, and it's not as good because it's a rehash. It, it, it's yeah, you know, Alex Luther again, you know. Ugh. The worst, you know, one of the worst things ever. Just yeah, so yeah, definitely. I say you can buy it, but don't don't spend too much money. <laughs> you know, buy it, watch it, see what you think. You know, but you know, don't don't spend too much money on this. It's it's not it's not worth that much because <laughs> it's not that good. Uh, though of course Christopher Reeves is there, so yeah, that's cool. It's nice to see him doing stuff. You know, but still. Just not that, not that good. See you guys next time. Check me out on YouTube and even art, especially my like, Superman Doomsday Remix. I will be getting back to that eventually. I have, I had like two stories that I really wanted to show off. The you know, after Trump won, after he lost, won the uh, presidency, after he lost the uh, the vote, and yet won the presidency. I had to do something on that, and now I got this other thing that's personal. That's some job issues that oh, you know, certain that I'm dealing with that I have to deal with right now certain job issues i have to do a comic a little comic on that once i finish that i'll go back to superman doomsday and i'll finish that one up and then we'll get on to other things like star butterfly eventually but yeah it's gonna take a little time but i'll keep working on that stuff
but on YouTube, so, you know, my Corona Trigger stuff, there was an issue with the Blackbird. Uh, you know, I messed up and didn't pick Isla like I should have. Now I have to use my uh, a save point from a while back. Figure that out. I'll get it eventually. All right, we'll get this stuff back, and I'm going to make a lot of this stuff, especially about Sonic Boom versus Sonic Top 6. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure it out, okay? Check me out. See you guys next time. Man, I hope they make a better Superman movie. <clears throat> and games. He needs games. He needs good games. Just, just to put a skin of Superman over Batman and the Batman Arkham series uh, as a start, that would be nice. See you guys next time.